we can work with masks in PixInsight. In this platform, masks are simply independent images we can open and use to regulate the effect of the processes we apply to the target image. One very easy way to generate a lightless mask is to extract the lightness component from a color image using the Extract CIEL Component button. This new image window will be our mask, and we're going to rename it. To apply this mask to the color image, we click on the mask's main view selector and drag and drop it on the view selector tray of the color image. Now we've applied the mask to the color image. We know that it's active because the main view selector has turned orange. When we apply a mask, by default the areas where the mask is opaque turn red, and the areas where the target image is visible are the ones where the mask is more transparent. There are various ways we can control the mask. The first is to show it or hide it using the Show Hide Mask button. The second is to enable or disable it using the Enable Disable Mask button. You'll notice that the main view selector turns gray when we disable the mask and orange when we enable it. We can also invert the mask using the Invert Mask button. This also inverts the way the image is displayed on the screen. Now the galaxy has turned red because the mask is opaque in these bright areas and the mask is transparent in the sky background areas. We can disable the mask but still show it on the screen. Now we're seeing the mask but any process we apply will be applied equally to all the pixels because the mask isn't intervening. We can also have the mask enabled but hide it from the screen. Even though we can't see the mask, now any processes will only be applied to the areas of the image where the mask is transparent, in this case, the sky background. We can see how the mask works by doing a comparison with a noise reduction process. To do this, we're going to create two identical previews and compare the results. We go to the Noise Reduction category and select TGV Denoise. We're going to apply the process to the first preview without inverting the mask. This means that the noise reduction will affect the center of the galaxy. In the second preview, we invert the mask and the noise reduction will only be applied to the sky background. If we compare the two previews, we can see that in the first, we've blurred the center of the galaxy, and in the second, we've blurred the sky background. Although the mask state applies to the whole image window, affecting all the views equally, we can modify the mask parameters for each view separately. Here, we're applying a process with the original mask, and here, we're applying it with the inverted mask. So, although the mask settings are global, if we modify them when we apply each process, each view will have its mask applied independently. It's very useful to be able to see the mask when adjusting it. For example, if we want a better separation between the body of the galaxy and the sky background, we can go to Curves Transformation and draw an S-shaped curve. We apply this to the mask, and the way the mask is displayed on the target image is automatically updated. If we undo the process, the mask on the image updates again. This is also very useful when adjusting a star mask. Here we have a ready-made one with the brightest stars in the image. Let's apply it. If we invert it, we can see that the mask is protecting the centers of the bright stars. 
Now we can adjust this star mask so that it covers the areas around the stars we want to protect. If we go to the Morphology category and open Morphological Transformation, we can enlarge the stars using the dilation operator. When we apply it to the mask, we can see that it gets larger around the stars. And if we apply it again, it gets even larger. If we now apply a convolution, we can see that the edges of the mask become softer. Finally, we can remove the mask using the Remove Mask button. When we remove it, the image will no longer be protected by a mask and all the processes we apply will affect all the pixels equally. If we want to apply a mask again, we can do so in the same way as before. Or we can click on the Select Mask button and select the one we want. All of these options are also available in the Mask menu in the menu bar at the top.